friends, this is Morgan with Compass Rose Astrology and today we are doing a pick a card video for you. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I have these three piles here for you and this is the video for what spirit wants to say to you most, what you need to hear right now from spirit. And um, I'm going to be using these animal spirit oracle cards to call you in so you can choose which deck speaks to you the most. This is going to be intuition based, so whichever of these animals speaks most to you. I also have some tarot cards and a postcard from Spirit located at the bottom, which we will close out the readings with. So what I'm going to ask from you is usually I do tarot card readings that are related to astrology, but this is purely an intuitive, guided sort of a reading here for you guys. So first you're going to pick either the antelope spirit, which says life is speeding up. You could pick the elephant spirit, learn from the past. Or you could pick the spider spirit, make your dreams real. So I will let you sit here for a couple moments to really dive into the images here, see which one feels right, and then I will start the reading for deck one, then deck two, and then deck three. And I hope that if any of like any extra of these actually resonate with you, you can watch all of them to, to um, see how they mix and meld as well. And I will see you at the reading that you choose. Thanks. Okay, hi deck one. So these are your cards that we pulled for you today. And let me just start off by talking to you about the antelope spirit card, the one that drew you to this deck. So we have the antelope spirit and on the bottom it says life is speeding up. So to me, I am feeling that there's this sense of a lot of change happening in your life right now that you're not entirely sure how to deal with, is what I'm thinking. Um, perhaps you want this and that you've been desiring it, um, but it just really hasn't kind of hit home how you're going to deal with it, <laughs> basically. Like, perhaps you've had, like, a change in a job or a career, or maybe someone has come really quickly into your life that ticks all the right boxes, and you're getting kind of caught up in the moment and everything, but you're not entirely sure how to run with this feeling and how to approach it with purpose, basically, is the feeling that I'm getting. There's also this sense of maybe you don't want to lose some of the things that you are currently holding on to and you're kind of afraid that maybe that's also going to be changed with this new change in your life. And you don't want to let go of some of the good things that you have. And it, you, I'm getting a sense that there's like no actual reason why they should fall away and they're not like detrimental to you they're not toxic to you they could be ha hobbies or like experiences things that you're doing right now that you want to keep holding in your life but um you're unsure how you can fit all of this together in your life and there's just this sense of being kind of swept up in a current um and these three tarot cards i pulled are for what's happened for to you in the past to bring about this um, abrupt shift. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Wands. So there's definitely been an event in your life indicated by the Ace of Swords that is a whole new uh, direction, essentially. And it provides a lot more opportunities for you, but it also provides a lot more risk that I think that you are aware of and that you feel like you can do, but it just is a whole new ball game for you and it makes you feel a little unsettled. However, we do have you here as the Queen of Wands looking out into the possibilities of your life with a lot of confidence and 
really a, a, just a beautiful countenance about you as well because you know that you have the power. You have a lot of belief and confidence in yourself and a lot of people are really seeing you shine and become the person that you have wanted to be for a very long time. And there's a lot of support here. And a lot of, I feel like whatever you went through recently was also divinely guided because we have this black cat on the Queen of Wands card. This is kind of my indicator of there being a protector here for you. And so whatever opportunity this is, it's it's like made for you and spirit wants you to know that they have your back and that they're um, only going to allow uh, the right things into your life at the right moments. So there could be kind of a sense of like looking back and being like, well, why couldn't I have had this earlier? Or why couldn't this have happened earlier? Now I have all these responsibilities and opportunities and everything that I are, have built in my life. But um, my dream is happening now. Like, like why now? <laughs> like, I don't want to let all this other stuff go too. But um, spirit has your back. They say, you know that you can handle it. You know that you have have the strength and the courage and the power to move forward here. Uh, but there might be a sense of hesitancy on your part, um, especially here with the hanged man happening right next to the page of wands. Um, this could be... I, the hanged man can sometimes be kind of stuck in their own um, experiences and in their own in their past, basically. The hangman can sometimes indicate someone that uh, is, like, st stuck in the vices, basically, that they are used to and maybe that they don't want to get up. And it's basically the waiting card. So I feel like you've been having a hard time because you felt like maybe this wouldn't come around for you. And so you came to terms with it and you were... Right now, maybe you might be in actually considering not moving forward with this thing. Um, but you're being called. Like, this essentially, our page of wands here is saying that there's a restlessness here that is coming into your energy or coming into your life that makes you feel like you should, should jump on it after a pay, uh, period of time of inactivity. And spirit is definitely taking, telling you that this is the time, this is the movement that you need to go towards. And I actually really love it because here we have some mountains in the background here on the page of wands and all on your past cards, they all have mountains on them. So it is indicating that there is going to be some challenge opportunities for you to really rise out of the ashes and become this goddess that you are. Um, but it just is forcing you out of a comfort zone, basically, especially with this four of pentacles, um, because this can sometimes indicate um, not being <laughs> not being excited to add things in or to take things out of your current life and being a little like kind of stagnant in certain certain places. So I'm just really seeing that there's like kind of this back and forth here for you that um, you're not entirely sure if this is true, if this is real. Maybe there's a sense that you don't really think that like it's too good to be true basically. Um, and like you're also... Spirit is saying that you have done all you need to do on your own. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to do things independently anymore. You can rely on other people. It's okay. It's fine to move forward. Um, you've become an absolute goddess in your own right. And <laughs> Spirit is absolutely indicating that because we have the Nine of Pentacles here. And this is self-sufficiency. It leads to complete success monetarily and abundance. So especially here with the Ace of Swords, we have a lot of swords and wands and pentacles here. Not so much um, in terms of emotions. So I really think this is a new pathway in life. Could also be very spiritual for you right now. Because the Page of Wands can certainly indicate 
a spiritual path for you. And so perhaps you're kind of incorporating your spiritual beliefs along with some sort of entrepreneurial passions here, especially with the Ace of Swords and um, the Nine of Pentacles. This is a very entrepreneurial spirit. Um, and maybe there's just this sense of like not being ready to risk everything, but Spirit is telling you that it's time. Like, this is your moment and you can absolutely own this. So now I'm going to read you that the postcard from Spirit um, provided you that was at the bottom of your deck. Dear you, the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence and even in the spirit world there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decision. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off. And some things, if some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead and do, um, instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? How we adore you. Oh, I love that for you, group one. That's so incredible. I'm so happy that this message came through because it really seems like you're a powerful person in your own right and you have a lot of ideas and a lot of good choices made on your end that lead you into the place that you want to be of abundance and complete self-sufficiency and I love that for you. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching group one. I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hi group two. So these are the cards that I pulled for you. We have your kind of past tarot cards. We have the elephant card that brought you to this group. And then we have a postcard from Spirit here at the bottom. And then advice from Spirit as well. So what I'm going to say from this elephant card, we have at the bottom, it says learn from the past. So there's definitely this sense of something being kind of stuck in your mind and stuck in your brain right now that has you mulling over a lot of options, a lot of kind of uh, questions that you might have about something, and kind of this fear of the unknown, basically. And there's definitely the sense of either, there's this fine line here between learning from the past and also expecting the same thing to happen all the time over and over again. Um, but there is definitely this kind of piece of advice that Spirit is trying to have you heed. Um, not just learning from the past, but also allowing older um, people that who, who have gone through something similar to you to help guide your choices or help guide your answers. Um, that might be causing a little bit of confusion for you here too but definitely kind of a live and learn situation here that can help you find the path forward in whatever you're asking questions about. And especially here, so we have the Ace of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Seven of Cups. So I think there's this... Uh, there's... A moment in your life that has come up recently that is really appealing to you, especially with the Ace of Wands. So this can sometimes indicate objects are, of our desire. It can indicate a quick action on your part or someone else's part coming into your life. Um, it could, and it's usually like divinely oriented. We have here the... Um, cloud that spirit is basically bringing this into your life and it often in in my opinion for the um, wand card it can indicate a person that kind of meets you halfway in terms of who you are um, but in all honesty I'm not seeing this as a kind of a relationship spread here because we don't have many 
if any. Um, we do have a cup card up here, but we don't have much um, else in terms of emotions here. So I'm thinking this is an actual physical opportunity. Um, this could even be someone, um, if it is related to a person that really inspires you or um, really makes the fire inside of you alight. And um, I really see there being a sense of analysis paralysis here for you, especially with the Hanged Man and the Seven of Cups here. So there's just this sense of just having to make too many decisions right now, and it could be really uh, making it hard for you to move forward. Um, there's a real disconnect here between your intuition and between your mind. I feel like there's this like very jumbled sense of um, what decision to make because there's just this clear disconnect between your heart and your mind. And, um, but it, it it's, I think it's just happening. I think it's just happening in your mind though, because you are being, you are pulling from past experiences, especially with a hanged man. This could be someone that um, is kind of stuck in place due to old, um, habits, old experiences, old, like people, like uh, their pull on you, and it's just keeping you in one place. But what Spirit here is telling you is that we have the sun in the world. We have the ending of a phase here. So there's going to be an end to this indecision here for you because you're going to really tap into this beautiful, ambitious part of your of your soul. And I can see that here with the sun and with the five of swords. So it might kind of come into conflict with some of the old experience that old experiences that you've had in your life could come into conflict with some of the holds that other people have on you. But it really allows you to step into your own, especially with the sun in the world here. And it allows you to kind of take a step forward and move away from this indecision. Um, because you are an incredibly generous person, group two, we have this real sense of knowing that what you put out, you get back in. And um, Spirit is telling you that you've put out so much good vibes. You've really helped a lot of people. You might have even helped the people that are kind of keeping you in place or the kind of, maybe you've even like worked on some of the reasons that have kept you in one place. Um and this could be through like therapy or through journaling or through like having this really great um, activity that allows you to kind of connect back to yourself rather than being influenced by all these other external forces. And we have the Seven of Pentacles, which sometimes can indicate um, a job, um, but, or excuse me, Eight of Pentacles, but it also means like diligence. And here you are doing what you need to do to become a better person, not only in your own skills externally, but also internally working on yourself, really seeing yourself through this, what could have been a lost opportunity and allow you to see past kind of falsehoods that aren't there anymore. And it could be fears that were um, a part of your life. It could be just bad habits basically that were a part of your life. And you're definitely taking that into consideration and allowing your ambition and your goodness to really shine through here. And I see that so much here with the Sun card because this is the card of being seen by others and it's being understood and it's being happy and being content and playful and being able to see past something that was possibly kind of dark and hard and heavy and moving on to a new phase in your life where you're allowed to follow that ambitious, excited side of yourself and be able to share that with the world, basically. Um, it, I definitely see that here with um, the Six of Pentacles. You're bringing into the world something so beautiful and so 
awe-inspiring. I see that a lot of people are really looking towards you for motivation as well. So that might be a little, <laughs> a little intimidating too. Um, and if it is, just know that spirit has your back. And um, learning from the past doesn't necessarily have to mean repeating the past. So you're not the same person you once were and you're, you're becoming better for it, which is wonderful. Um, and so I'm going to read this postcard for you, Postcard from Spirit, and close out the reading group two, and hopefully this will resonate with you. So we have, Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again full circle in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self whose desires are unmet. Now here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different, more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions, and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle, and now you can see that everything changes, is made new, and is given new hope. Loving you always. <laughs> That's so wonderful, group two. Oh, I love it. Come in full circle. Starting new things. Is that not what we said? That's amazing. Oh, I love, love tarot reading. <laughs> okay, group two, I hope this resonated. And let me know if, um, if this was for you. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye. Hi group three, this is Morgan and here is your reading. I have all the tarot cards laid out for you. We have the past kind of um, event that has spurned you to find this reading. We have the spirit card that allowed you to choose this deck, the spider spirit, make your dreams real. And then I have the postcard that I'll read for you at the end from spirit. And then we have a ton of advice cards for you here. Um, Spirit had a lot to say to you, so I tried to fit them all here on the screen, and we'll try and go through them, um, by the end. So, first off, we have the Spider Spirit here for you, Group 3. We have Make Your Dreams Real. So, whenever I get the Spider Spirit, honestly, this is my favorite, um, animal. My favorite spiritual animal. And... To me, this really means that you have the power to create whatever life that you want right now. You are incredibly powerful. You can create whatever sort of feeling of a life that you want. If, and you can also bring in the people, the jobs, the things that you need to create this life and um, that you've been dreaming of your entire life. You are the creator of your own world. I know that sometimes there are limitations, um, and it, for example, like financially, um, or maybe due to other obligations, but the spider is really telling you that the way you want to see the world is possible, and the way you want to experience your own life is possible. So, if that means, like, changing, um, your career a couple years down the line, that could... That is sincerely indicated here with the spirit, the spider spirit. If it means bringing in someone that really compliments you, that is definitely indicated by the spider spirit. I do think that sometimes this takes time, this card, but it is still a beautiful card to have and it really indicates just how powerful you are and how truly in your own element you are right now. Um, sometimes it can also make you can also feel incredibly lost when this card comes up because you might have lost a lot of things, especially with the um, the weave of the spider's web. It can you have to build that up from scratch, right? So sometimes it means that there's a lot of like work in <laughs> in store for you to create that, but you absolutely have it at your fingertips. This is something you're incredibly powerful. You can do. So let's see what the tarot is telling you here. So I tried to kind of split it into bunches of three here. Um, we have what brought you here to us. So we have the chariot card, the seven of cups, and then the eight of cups. So 
what I'm really seeing here is that something, you made a decision in your life and it ended up kind of having, to, ooh, so sorry about that. Uh, it ended up having to cut off something in your life that it, it caused a lot of maybe emotional trauma to you. And maybe you weren't even the one that had to cut it off. Um, but there was the sense of seeing past what was being presented to you and actually seeing the reality of the situation and you have moved forward. There's no sense of being stuck right now, but it has really left you with a big sense of kind of emotional grief and possibly even resentment here. But you have this current situation that Spirit is showing you is <laughs> it's allowed this doorway to open for you that leads to complete happiness here. Um, it's really funny because you go from being really um, emotionally unfulfilled and then really quickly, either you've experienced this or this is coming up for you, we have this cup coming in to fill up all the cups that spilled or that you've left behind and lead you into the Nine of Cups too. Um, so we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups happening here. So I really think that you're going to have this opportunity coming up and it can lead to a complete and utter happiness here for you. Um, especially if this is in terms of having it all, you know, it's, it's not just a relationship. It's also having, um, a family and a home and this could be definitely around maybe building a home for yourself that maybe you didn't feel like you were welcome at a certain place um, that was supposed to feel like a home to you in terms. Um, but there's definitely this opportunity coming up for you soon that could definitely lead. And it, it looks really appealing, I think, too, and it can lead to incredible happiness. Um, but I think Spirit is definitely telling you, too, that we have the Page of Cups, the Fool, and the Page of Wands. So there's this sense of allowing yourself to, like, in the most basic sense of the word here, go with the flow. The Fool is the most is very trusting. It's learned from all of its past experiences. It has all its memories and the whole, all the tarot decks that it's gone from before and it's ready to start anew. And then when we have the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands, those are very um, consolidated um, epitomes basically of their suites or suits, <laughs> I guess that's the word. So we have cups and wands. So there is just this kind of letting go when it comes to emotional fulfillment, emotional support, and passion here. And I think spirit is telling you that it's okay to just allow yourself to move forward um, with your passions, your hopes, your dreams, your compassion, your emotional abilities, and emotional fulfillment in mind, because that's what's most important here. And you've gone through a lot of um, grief and kind of just a sense of being left behind here or being forced to leave something behind. And you've seen other people kind of depart, and now it's your turn to really just follow the path that allows you to find your truest happiness and really listening to your gut, listening to your intuition, um, and doing, making the choices that are right for you and not necessarily for someone else will lead you to this happiness. I love this reading for you. Oh my gosh, group three, this is so great. So now I'm going to read for you this postcard from Spirit and this will just wrap up the reading and here we go. Dearest you, as you think, so will you experience life. Thoughts are that powerful, and they need minding. Let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. 
These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet the real truth is that, essentially, all is well. Of course, you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. Those are the ones we want you to keep thinking, and they have a less frantic quality. They're stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has these fearful thoughts. Love them. Love yourself. And then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. I love this for you, group three. This is so great. I hope that you know that you have the absolute power here to create the life that you want. And as spirit is oh so gently reminding us, a lot of it has to do with the power of your thoughts. Um, because that's how you perceive the world around you, right? And how you perceive your life. And that can often be just as powerful as the effects of external people and external choices and everything else around you too, right? So please comment if this resonates and I'd love to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye.